Einstein's question was, how God created this universe? And that's what I want to know, he said. Stephen Hawking's question is a few notches even higher. He asked the question, why? Not the how question, but the why question. Why we exist and why the universe exists. What is the purpose of our existence? What is the purpose of the universe's existence? What's the objective of this? The other day, I met one young student from a university and uh, he was telling me, I was asking him what he's studying and so on. And he was telling me about uh, artificial intelligence and robotics and some of these really uh, frontiers of technology and science that is happening in the world today. Then I engaged in a little bit of a conversation with him. And then I was asking him, uh, uh, what kind of uh, scientists are involved in uh, uh, artificial intelligence and such things? He said, uh, there are some of the most brilliant people in the world in places like Stanford, Harvard, MIT, and, and many other places in the world, big universities. Some of the best brains are involved in research and development of uh, these new areas and new frontiers in science and technology and computer sciences. And then I was, uh, began to, to have the discussion and then I asked him, uh, how many professors, really top professors, you think are there in, in a place like Stanford? And he said, maybe 10, 12. And then I went on, and in America, how many could be there? Maybe 200. And then all over the world, then he gave some numbers and so on. Then. I continued my talk with him and, and continued to reflect on this subject. And then I told him, just you see, some maybe about 500 top scientists in the world are working on creating artificial intelligence, right? How to make computers behave a little more intelligently as if they have, they can mimic human intelligence or if possible, surpass human intelligence. These are the interesting ideas that scientists are exploring. Einstein's question was, how God created this universe? And that's what I want to know, he said. Stephen Hawking and, a few, and many other scientists were working on a problem, what was called the grand unification theory. Even in my college days, I used to hear talks about it. And in Bangalore, there was one Nobel Prize winner who talked about it, and I remember that. 30 years ago. Scientists are still working on that and uh, Stephen Hawking gave a different name to that theory and he called that the theory of everything with a capital T and a capital E because that was meant to explain everything in the universe. Basically scientists have identified four fundamental forces, four fundamental energies which makes the universe the way it is. And the scientists are trying to find out if those four energies and four forces can be further reduced to one single force. That's the grand unification theory and that explains the universe. Stephen Hawking's question is a few notches even higher. He asked the question, why? Not the how question, but the why question. Why we exist and why the universe exists. What is the purpose of our existence? What is the purpose of the universe's existence? What's the objective of this? So I asked him, just see, if 500 top level scientists, engineers, technologists are involved in creating artificial intelligence. Now, uh, which means great intelligence is needed to, pr to produce and to create this artificial intelligence. Now, how can we say, that there was no intelligence involved in creating this natural intelligence that we all possess. How can we say that there is no higher and very, very sophisticated, very advanced intelligence in the creation of uh, human intelligence, naturally occurring human intelligence? So 
uh, he also nodded and he said, yeah, yeah, of course, we can't, we can't say that. Yes, there must be great intelligence. And yes, that is Lord Sri Krishna who has made all of these wonderful things. And he has also given us the intelligence so that in human form of life, we recognize him and we remember him. Hare Krishna, if you found this video interesting, do like it and share it with your loved ones. For more uplifting spiritual content, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon.